Hey guys, welcome back. So here we have another project for local John Deere dealer. So we have a diff housing or half of a diff housing and you can see an issue here. Don't think those are supposed to just fall in there. So this is cast and we have a lot of meat on here, probably three quarters of an inch or maybe a little more there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get set up on this and we're just gonna cut it out, basically kind of make a sleeve that's gonna press in here. That's about the thickness of that, maybe a hair more, I haven't decided yet. And it also has to stick out a little bit like that. I'm gonna make it match. This side looks pretty good, but obviously we're gonna do both sides. So everything is in perfect alignment. So this being cast and what it is, we cannot weld to this for bearings or anything like that. So we're gonna get creative and make some uh, stuff here. Um, we made this already. I'm not gonna be able to hold this up there with one hand. Basically these line up with uh, these and then I'm going to put a bend in this so that I will have a face to mount my bearing on. So we want to try to be straight to that so that when we bend it, the bearing should be pretty close to 90. All right, let's get it bent. So after looking at this a little bit further, it has a kind of vibrates a little bit when you tap on it. So I don't think this alone is going to be sturdy enough. So I have some pieces of scrap here and basically what I'm going to do is just kind of cut a hole in this, pinch them together with a bolt and then take another piece and then weld it. But I also just realized that I need to do this side first because I'm gonna kind of put this like on the inside with a bolt with a plate out here. And with my plate on here, I cannot get my hands in there. So we're gonna take this off, do that side, and then come back to this side because I won't be able to get to the inside. All right, I found some random pieces. That's one inch all threads and one inch plate here. We'll be able to tack our bearing on there, our bearing mount. All right, so now we can put this back on and continue what we were doing on the side.
got our shop dog here running around in the rain even though she probably could be laying on a warm bed over by the house she chooses to run through the rain and be soaking wet and will probably also get in the pool today just because that's uh, what she does All right, we're all set up to cut here. So basically we're just gonna cut away at this until this lip is gone. And we'll make it the same same measurement on both sides and then we're gonna machine our, uh, our insert pieces and we'll press them in there. All right, so we have both sides pretty much roughed out. And then we're just gonna use our uh, bore measuring tool here. Just picked a nice round number, 0. 0.6. And we're gonna cut that both sides the exact same. So when I make something on the lathe, you know, I could make it long, cut it in half and have my two pieces. All right, so this will be the final pass. All right, our work here is done for line boring. Cast machines really, really nicely. Nice small chips. It just, I don't know, cast always drills nice and cuts nice. Uh, we found a piece of 4130. We're going to be using for the those uh, bushings to go in there. So we'll get this start working on getting this uh, machined up here. We'll probably strip this down and get all this put away. Then we'll start machining that piece. All right, here's a look at the bore. Looks pretty good. All right, now we're gonna start machining that piece.
All right, we got our OD. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna start boring the inside to fit this. I can't imagine this bushing is a very tight fit, maybe one thousandths or so interference. So with that all the way together, we'll give it about one thousandths. It's not even perfect. Like there's all kinds of like dimples and stuff around the edges here. I'm pretty sure this is something you would just tap in with a hammer. And it probably has a shoulder, originally has a shoulder in there that it just butts up to. There's no grease seals or anything like that. So, all right, let's get the, uh, get the inside cut. All right, so let's talk about how do you measure a bushing that has a split in it like that. I put a hose clamp around it, tighten that down, and then get my measurements. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I have two of these bushings. I'm gonna measure both of them and see. These look pretty inconsistent. So we're gonna get as many measurements as we can. And uh, yeah, that's, what, that's the measurement we're gonna use. All right, we got our pieces here. I machined that original lip into it so that these will get pressed in there. Right up to that lip so the lip sticks out. Got this one this side. All right, now it's time to press these in. All right, so we got this bushing pressing on the side. So the problem we would have is if we just put a flat washer on there and try to pull the other side in, it could potentially pull this in or put unnecessary pressure on it. So I made a piece here that will lock over that. So that way all of our force is gonna be on this face that we're trying to pull into on that side. So we're gonna put this one here and we're gonna press it on the other side.
<clears throat> all right well that is it you saw the pin slid right in was nice and tight which means that we got our our crush just right because it's because it's, it's a tight fit so we're good to go there I think everything looks pretty pretty good if the camera's not focusing or what all right well now let's uh, get it back to the customer and on to the next project that's it for this video thank you for watching stay tuned for the next one